<laughs> oh, sorry, we're back. Oh, sorry. We were just talking about lowering the boiling point of a liquid by reducing atmospheric pressure. And it, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's a science thing, and I'm pretty in with science now. Let's take a look at some work from our next presenter. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's changing. We have not finished taking our readings. Local gravitational fields are increasing exponentially. Everything says we better get the hell out of here. It will be visible again in 40 seconds. We will make our own judgments then. I'm taking us in, Data, with or without them. Thrusters at half power, entering outer event horizon. Please welcome LeVar Burton and Breakthrough Prize founder, Mark Zuckerberg. The numbers of real-world technologies inspired by the imaginary universe of Star Trek are pretty impressive. Kirk's communicator became the flip cell phone. Uh, my crew used tablet computers on the Enterprise before Apple invented the iPad. I'm pretty sure they owe me money. <laughs> and scientists and technologists are working to turn Geordi LaForge's visor into prosthetic devices for the blind. I believe that science and technology and the imagination behind them can help us solve a lot of our problems, and including can help us to cure, prevent, and manage all human diseases within our children's lifetimes. But for that to happen, we have to invest in science. Absolutely. Once upon a time, black holes only existed in our imaginations, but then scientists found them, but still they thought we would never actually be able to see one. I mean, how could we see one when light itself can't escape from them? But scientists' ingenuity and their technology are not so easily beaten. So let's get to know the people who made it their quest to photograph a black hole. Before we knew black holes existed, we imagined them in our minds. Hundreds of years ago, people first started asking the question of whether a star could be so massive that even light couldn't escape from its surface. And through the work of many luminaries over the years, we've now come to realize that black holes actually exist. So the question is, how do you see the unseeable? Because black holes are cloaked in this gravitational invisibility region. You realize that all the gas and dust flowing onto the black hole superheats in a cosmic traffic jam, heating itself to billions of degrees. So what you're looking at is essentially light from behind the black hole being bent in an extreme way around just before it disappears through the event horizon. The event horizon is the point of no return, the region where gravity is so strong that even light can't escape. In order to capture this image, we had to have the angular resolution that's equivalent to being able to read a newspaper in Los Angeles while you're standing in New York. So to do this, we had to build a telescope the size of the Earth, and that is what we did. From Spain to Hawaii to Arizona, to Chile, to the South Pole. Oh, you need telescopes around the world, all operating at exactly the same microsecond. You need teams of people. At each of those telescopes, people had to come together. Countries had to come together. Ideas had to come together. And this took over a decade. There was never any moment when we were 100% certain that anything would work. We like to say it is that we jump off cliffs and invent parachutes on the way down. We're, we're uncertain, but we're confident enough in the team that we were going to be ready when opportunity presented itself. And that's what happened. We have seen and taken a picture of a black hole. We asked the deepest question. We'd seen the unseeable. We'd open a new window on the universe. Pretty cool. Yeah. Amazing. For the first image of a supermassive black hole taken with an Earth-sized alliance of telescopes, the Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics is awarded to the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. It began with a small team, then grew to include 347 scientists at 60 institutions in 20 countries around the world. And accepting on behalf of the collaboration is its founding director, Shepard Dolan. 
The three million breakthrough prize is split equally between the 347 scientists who worked on the EHT experiment. They're now working on producing a photo of the black hole at the heart of our own Milky Way. It's a great honor to accept this award on behalf of our wonderful international collaboration. When we saw the first image of a black hole, our team experienced a range of emotions, but mostly we felt alive, because that moment of discovery is what it means to be human. We're grateful to the many groups who funded our quest, as well as the loved ones who have put up with our obsession, sometimes for decades. This image connects us across 100 years to Einstein, Schwarzschild, and more recently to Stephen Hawking, who sadly did not live long enough to share this moment with us. But some of his family are here tonight, and to them, I would like to say how inspirational Stephen was to our project. And now we hope that this image will inspire all of you.